Hello, uh, hope you are doing fine wherever you are and uh, I believe you are healthy and you are here watching this video because you have trouble making capsim decision. Before we proceed uh, to making decision, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video so that next time we upload similar video, YouTube will notify you. Also, it is good when you like because uh, YouTube is likely to share to those people that are in dire need of these kinds of help. So let us start. We'll start with uh, research and development. And uh, research and development, uh, we usually make a uh, decision for three areas. That is performance, size, and reliability. So while making this decision, you need to check uh, two factors. And that is include the revision date and also the quality of your performance and size coordinates, depending on what customers want. So this is a Capsim Foundation and it has a two market segment that is low tech and high tech. And also as we begin, there's only one product which is in this case is Able. So we are company Andrew. So before we proceed, uh, it's also it is always good to check the report uh, to understand what customers want in each segment. So for for low tech, uh, price is the most important thing and it has importance level of 41%. So when you go to marketing section, make sure that your price is the most competitive one. This will help you to sell more unit compared to your closest competitor. Age is the second most important thing and uh, customer you expect a product that is around 3.0 years old. Having a product with an age of exact 3 years is not possible. So anything between 2.5 and 3.5 is considered good. This is 29% important. Reliability of between 14,000 and 20,000 comes down with 21% important. Ideal position comes last. So, but uh, it's not something that you should overlook because this can be the only thing that make the difference between you and your competitors. So giving the best always on all these four factors is the key competitive advantage that you can have and will help you to sell more units than any other company in the industry. So with that uh, basic knowledge, uh, let us begin making decision. As you can see, Able is currently selling um, in the cross section of between low tech and high tech uh, market segment. So this is some time called a uh, crossover product. So uh, we updated this product to have a performance of 6.0 and size of 14.0. We also updated the reliability to 20,000. If we can just check uh, what uh, they had in the previous round, which is round zero, we can see that uh, the performance for Andrew was 5.4 and size was 14.5, while reliability was 21,000. So uh, we can maintain that at 21,000. We don't need, uh, or we can have it at 20,000. Uh, because you see, uh, having an average uh, reliability or mean time before failure, it will help us to reduce the material cost. However, this product sells both in the low tech and high tech market segment. So you need to gamble so that um, at least you'll have a fair price for those uh, looking for a low tech product, but you'll also have a, a bit reliable product for those looking for high tech product. Uh, this is possible, especially when we are waiting for a new product that we are introducing to come out, which will come out in the year uh, 2022. To start to sell so uh, we have introduced this product we called it abby uh, we provided it with a performance of 8.2 and size of 11.8 we also needed to update our reliability to match uh, what customers want in this segment so as we have seen um, or if we can just go and check the report for uh, high end, uh, we'll see that ideal position come first. This is important. It carries thirty three percent importance, age of zero point zero second. So when this product comes out in the year twenty twenty two, we'll have an exact age of zero point zero. So here we are likely to get the most of that twenty nine percent because our product will be newer. The price is that and has twenty five percent importance. Uh, price between twenty five and forty five. Here again. It's not like uh, we have exact figure, but um, we'll work with what we believe at that time will be most competitive at the market. Reliability of between 17,000 and 23,000 
um, is what is required in the high tech market segment however here we are going to have the best because this is a new product and um, we want uh, to capture the largest market share especially on the high tech market segment so we'll update the reliability to 23,000 So uh, as we have updated the reliability, we see our product will come out on September 25. This is quite late. We need a product that, uh, because it's newer, we can have it at the latest, uh, maybe August. So we'll need to reduce something. Maybe we can have, let's try 2100. And we see what happens. So uh, there's no exact formula for doing this thing, but uh, what you need to know is that as we proceed from one round to next, we need to always be increasing the performance and reducing the size because customers are expecting a highly performing product as we go on from one round to another. And also they are expecting a smaller size sensor. So we have now uh, 14 September, we still need to reduce. We can try with uh, um, with size we can try 11.9 and then 8.1 we just see what happens so we have uh, that september uh, this is still quite a very long time so we need at least uh, several months because this is a newer product. It needs time for it to be marketed and also to be sold. So ensure latest you have this August. So now we are having it on the market by August uh, 30, which is not bad. So um, we can proceed to our next uh, decision section, which is marketing. For marketing currently we only have one product that we'll be producing so uh, we will only be making decision for able uh, if we can just check uh, uh, the report for low end because this product is a low end product and also it sells in high end uh, some some of our crossover products so price between 15 and 35 is the most important thing for low tech customer while for high tech customer a price of between 25 and 45 but again you remember we, are, we updated our performance we updated our size and also we updated our reliability that's why despite the, the price the maximum price for low tech uh, product being uh, 35 uh, we opted to have it at 37.5 because we believe that um, there are customers that will find this product to be more like of a high tech and they'll be willing to spend more and there are also other customers that will believe this product is a low tech and they'll be reluctant to spend more. So we strike a balance uh, at 37.5, which is not bad. Uh, we spend uh, $2,000 for promo and uh, $3,000 for sales. Uh, because you see here, uh, they say like, uh, So the first million will provide us with 22% awareness, the second one 23, and the third one only 5%. So um, only providing uh, two, 2,000 is enough because we don't want to spend another 1,000 only to get 5%. Uh, for this one, uh, the cap is on 45. The cap is on, uh, let's see. There's no benefit of spending more than 3 million. Uh, if you only have one product in a given segment, so that's why you're only having uh, 3,000 or 3 million in that case. Our forecast uh, based on uh, decision, our, our research and development, our promo, our sales and price, uh, we calculated that we'll, we, we are likely to sell 1,475 units. However, we have some adjustment that we we'll made under production section. So uh, let us produce, sorry, let us proceed to our next section. So the next section is production and HR.
for production and HR, um, we will may be making decision uh, for the unit that we are going to produce, which is called production schedule. We are also going to improve our capacity both there for our current product and also the newer product that we are introducing. We are also going to improve automation, and that is if you'll be having enough money at our disposal, we might do that. But if the money is limited, we'll remain with the what we are having currently and we'll only improve it when we have the money. So um, since we are we have estimated to sell 1475 units and we are having an inventory of 87, we projected that um, if we produce 1480, it will be enough even even when uh, there will be more demand than what we have projected because at seven units and another five units from 1480 will act as a buffer stock and uh, will help us uh, not to stock out it is always uh, being advised that um, you should not stock out at least you should end up with some inventory because if you have some inventory at hand which is reasonable it means that you have satisfied all your customers need and you'll get nearly all points but if you stock out we are going to lose uh, points and our stock out section. You can check balance card for that. Again, uh, here you can try to be more industrious and say maybe we can sell. Maybe we we'll, we are having better decision than any other person or any other company. So we are likely to sell much much more units. So we can have at least a higher buffer stock. That's why we have opted to go now for one thousand five hundred and fifty units. Okay, now uh, let's go under physical plant buy sell capacity. For able, we are having capacity of 800 units, but now our first shift is already sorry, our second shift is already at 93.8 percent. So, at least we need to get some capacity to try to reduce uh, second shift production because with the high second shift production, we are likely to end up with uh, high turnover rates and high turnover rates are not good because we are also going to lose points. So we are not going to improve automation, although it's advisable to improve automation for low tech uh, product faster because uh, as we proceed from one round to another, uh, customers are expecting a cheaper product for low tech market segment. and. Uh, to afford to sell product cheaply we need uh, to have uh, we need to cut down our production cost and one way of cutting down production cost is increasing automation with high automation we are reducing labor cost so for our new product abby for us to sell the coming round we need to provide it with capacity and automation that's why we ordered capacity of 299 units for it and also ordered automation of 3.0 uh, for HR, currently we are not uh, making any decision because they have not provided a uh, uh, section for us to do so. But um, as we proceed to next round, uh, there will be an option to do that. Okay, that's all for production. We can now go to our next section, which is finance. So for finance, before making any decision, you need to check the balance scorecard. So you can go to performer, then balance scorecard. So for balance scorecard, um, this is like a metric that measures how you are making a decision. And uh, the key factor, the key factor that is being influenced by finance section mostly is leverage and days of working capital uh, you need to check this one and this one so to make a maximum points here uh, you need to either adjust your your borrowing or adjust your long-term debt uh, that's the reason why That is the reason why we have issued a long-term debt uh, totaling to $2,480 and we have borrowed uh, $5,000. Uh, 
the reason for this uh, was to balance our financial structure such that uh, our retained earning and uh, equity equ must be likely must be closely equal to current debt and long term debt okay uh, Another thing that you need to check while making a finance decision is the cash position as that December 31st 2022 or the next year uh, that is showing on your decision making section make sure this is a positive number and not just a positive number but um, a larger positive number because uh, with positive number it means that you are likely to avoid uh, ending up with emergency loan the problem of uh, having a negative number here or having a small number is that uh, you might end up with high inventory and with high inventory it stores money and you you need cash to run your business so when you have too much inventory it means that a lot of cash is sitting around and you need to run your business on day day to day operation and that need cash so for that to happen capsim uh, will issue you uh, with emergency loans and these loans are very expensive and they are be, they are required to be paid yearly or within 12 months and since you are just starting up and the market sometimes may be too competitive it might be very difficult to repay those debt so ensure everything you do uh, you have a positive and a very a very large positive number for December 31st 2022 or the next year that is showing on your cap scene so that you do not end up with emergency loan another way of avoiding emergency loan actually is doing the correct forecasting you don't need to be over ambitious because when you are over ambitious uh, you are likely to order too much than what is needed or what your company uh, can afford to sell to customers so always ensure you do the right forecasting i think um, that's all for today and i believe uh, at least you have learned something uh, concerning making capsim decision if this has been helpful kindly remember to subscribe and also remember to share it so that anyone else who might need this help uh, can get assisted also when you subscribe next time you have similar video especially now because we are planning to come with our round two decision uh, youtube is going to notify you again thank you and have a great day